characters in Lightroom. We're going to create an image and we're going to overlay three other images on it. This would be good for wedding photography, maybe an album page, maybe designing a poster for someone. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do here is I've got some images of Keeley, Miss uh, Palm Springs 2010 that I just recently finished working on and uh, we're going to go ahead and put these things together. So I have my images down here selected. We won't be using all of these. We'll just be using four of them. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is inside Lightroom we're going to go to the print section. We're going to go ahead and click on the page setup. We're going to make sure that for this particular one we want to use a landscape image but you could use a you could use a uh, uh, vertical or horizontal but uh, in this case we're going to use landscape. Click OK. Then the first thing we want to make sure we're going to do is we want to make sure that if we were using anything else before that we want to make sure it's all cleared out. So we're going to click on custom package and we're going to click on clear layout. Now to put our first main image inside there, uh, Lightroom makes this really easy for us. We can just go ahead and add some cells. The first one we're going to add is an 8x10 cell. We're going to go ahead and uh, shrink this up a little bit, give us a little bit more space. Grabbing the corners and dragging them out, we're going to pull it off of the top. Uh, it does like to snap. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of room at the top and the and on the sides and we're going to shrink this up just a little bit more. And that'll be our main image. That's where our main image is going to go right there. And then just to keep this particular one simple, we're going to add three more cells. And we're just going to click on 2 by 2 by 5 and add three cells. Lightroom likes to put them on a separate page because it assumes you don't want to overlay them on your other image. So it's going to create the second page here. All you need to do is grab these and drag them over to your first page and drop them where you want them. And we're going to put, do something like that. Once we're done with that, we can get rid of the second page. And just by clicking on the red X that pops up in the corner. Now we're going to uh, adjust these just a little bit and drag them out to make them a little bit larger. I'm trying to keep them uh, evenly spaced. Maybe something just like that. Okay. And now here's the easy part. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and drag and drop the images that we want to use here. First one we'll use will be this one right here. That'll be our main image. Uh, click that off for now. And then we're going to go ahead and add three more images here. Uh, maybe this one here. And we'll go ahead and add this one there. And we can go ahead and put this one here. Uh, really just that simple. Uh, if you decide that you wanted to, you could add a photo border, a border around each edge, something like that. You could adjust that to taste, you know, by setting that. Uh, or you could not use a border and just go with a, a simple stroke. The stroke you could also just to set them off uh, uh, just a little bit more. You could change the color of the inner stroke if you liked. Here's your color picker. Uh, for this particular case, why don't we? Uh, I'll stay with black. Something just like that. If you wanted to, um, you could change the uh, color of the background. Currently, it's set to white. You could change that to black. Um, and possibly, if you changed it to black like that, then you might want to go back in and change the color of the stroke or eliminate the stroke and add the border. Maybe something like that. Now these white lines you see around the edges, these are the cell guides. These will not actually print or be saved with your image. They're just there to show you where the cells are. Once you come up with a design that you like, uh, if you think this might be something you could reuse again and again, you can come over to your template browser, click on the plus sign, give this a name, uh, something like um, 
for sale overlay. Click create. Now that'll pop up down here in your user templates, always available to you the next time you want to use this again. Obviously you could change the background color, you could change your stroke color and be able to utilize this for whatever you needed. Uh, when that's done, uh, if you decide that you want to print this, you could uh, go down into the print in the printing area and you could print this to your printer, send it right off to your printer. Or if you decide that you wanted to send if this was going to be for an album page and you were going to send this into uh, a lab or you just wanted to send this to a lab and have it printed, you could go ahead and click and save this to a JPEG file. Save it to a JPEG file, print to file, save it as something like so. You're going to pick the photo, pick the area that you're going to want to put this in, save it. Lightroom is going to go ahead and, and save that for you. If you decide that uh, this was something you really liked the, and you were pretty happy with the design, uh, a real quick way to go ahead and set up a second template would be to hit Page Setup and decide that you want to use a vertical image. Click OK. Uh, and then you could actually swap these out with some verticals. Wrong one. This is as a whole nother template. There you go. This was my first tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this will be hopefully more of these to come, and we will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.